Fantastic weather and the payeses and the extranjeros. They were here, they were most of them Americans, Canadians, Swedish, and um, painters, artists. Fantastic people. There were no classes. The houses, they were open. Nobody closed the doors. It was a great way of uh, life. I came in 1972 and um, I, came, I arrived to an island which was virgin nature and sunny with flowers and uh, everything was green and uh, it was just so overwhelming that I couldn't believe it. It just, uh, it just hit me so strongly that I uh, felt like being in paradise. Spanish is Ana Maria Noche y Dia. It means Ana Maria Day and Night because uh, I was everywhere. I don't want to lose one minute of this uh, party or in the beach or in the discotheques. Everywhere I was, I tried to be all around the island, always 24 hours. I was sleeping nothing. Just a few hours sometimes when my body was going to die. <gasps> when I start to work in Pacha, they tell me, okay, you can be a good dancer. And I said, yes, but please, uh, with one clausula, at uh, five o'clock in the morning, I want to go away. And then uh, the boss of the dancer in this time, she said, uh, okay, you can do it, but shut up. 
don't say this to anyone. And when it's five o'clock, you just take the door and go where you want. And so at five o'clock every night, when I finish work, I run to dance in another discotheque and I run to cook to make more crazy around. Like this and it was okay. I knew this was my place forever. I don't know, I, I, even the smell. I adore, I felt this is my home. My name is Rosetta Montenegro. I was born in Venezuela, but I live in many parts of the planet, so I got to meet so many people. Everyone came to see me in Ibiza during those days and now still. I work in um, Pacha, I work in Ku, I work in Amnesia, I work in all over the places here. Imagine Ibiza in the 72, used to live with the payeses and uh, they were really nice people, you know, they didn't get impressed about our outfits that were really freak, you know, I mean, we were freak. We used to get uh, whatever. A bottle of coke, we cut it and we make a do things for a bra, you know? It was really funny. The fantasy that all the people used to have at that time. At least in that time we used to have two or three pareo you can would you wear it on the head, over the, the shoulders, as a child. And we only carry a basket, a Visenkan basket, with all our stuff there. So we didn't have to go to our house to get things, you know? No, it was easy going. You know, we used to go to the disco without barefoot, in bathing suit, with a pareo, and sometimes people make it. Full of uh, colors and things, you know, but uh, flowers all over.